Bye. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to do a little kind of bad side nursery tour. So I'll show you um, how I've kind of set up everything in our um, bedroom uh, because we have kind of turned it into a bit of a nursery for now. You know, you kind of want baby to be with you in the first few months. With my first baby, we also kept him in our room, I think for the first six months, I want to say. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was around six months that we actually moved him into his own kind of nursery but um, for the first few months I really like having them close to me so we're doing a bedside nursery again this time around so as you can see we've already got the um, next to me crib all set up there yeah I'm just gonna go around and show you and I am just so excited I was so excited to set up everything we kind of waited until after the holidays um, just to kind of calm down a bit after all of the Christmas chaos um, and we've set everything up now and I'm just so excited to meet this little BB soon. I am 37 weeks um, at this point. So yeah, it could happen at any time now, which is crazy to think about. Although I do think, I don't think she's gonna be early because my, my first baby, my um, son wasn't early either. So I'm kind of not expecting this one to be either, <laughs> but you never know, do you? So I'm going to, yeah, just kind of walk you through and show you how I set everything up. And I think I'm gonna take you downstairs to show you a few bits we've set up there as well, um, just to kind of prep for baby's arrival. My nesting is in full blown mode. <laughs> I have been going around the house, just tidying and decluttering and cleaning, which is crazy because I have so much less energy. Like I can feel like it's so much heavier to do everything these days because I'm so heavily pregnant. But I just have this urge to clean and tidy and get everything ready. So yeah, nesting is in full mode. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you the nursery. You know I'm looking and I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feel it. Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Forever Okay, so over on this side of the bed, I just have the next to me crib. This is what it looks like. I still need to attach it to the bed frame um, just so that it doesn't move. But to be honest, it doesn't really have a lot of space to move um, that way anyway, because you obviously don't want any space between baby's crib and your mattress. Um, but yeah, we will be doing that. Um, so this is what I have in here. Um, and then in the nightstand right there, I've kind of popped the baby monitor. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in the like beginning days, but I've popped it in there just to have it on hand. And then um, when I want to set it up, I'll probably set it up. I'm thinking up there. I might stick it on that, you know, the bed frame there so that it can point towards baby and I can see her. Um, that's kind of the plan. There in the back I've just got my pregnancy pillow, which I plan on using as a nursing pillow as well if I need to. I actually didn't end up using my nursing pillow with my first baby for too long, so um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I've got a mattress protection sheet on this, so like a waterproof one. Um, it's under there, and then I've also got the regular crib sheet, so that's all that's going to go in her bed, because obviously you don't want anything in baby's crib when they're um, so little and then the plan is to have her 
sleeping in here with um, just like a swaddle or um, a sleeping bag or something like that. Um, so we've got these little swaddles for um, newborns and we'll, we'll see how she gets on with that because obviously you don't know what the baby's going to like. Um, but that's the plan. That's kind of what we did um, with my son as well. Then moving on to this side of the room, if you um, have been here for a while and you've watched my previous videos, you can tell we've kind of switched up a few things. So I just moved my vanity table, that one right there, it was in the middle here next to the window. So we moved it on that side um, just so that we can have the changing mat, you know, more easily accessible um, and then also all the little things we need for baby. So on here I just have that little basket right there um, that's got some extra blankies like baby blankies and I've got her um, teddy onesie like the you know the outdoor one the full-on one that you wear outside um, because it's really bulky and I didn't want it to take up space in the drawers so that's all in there and then on here I've got the changing mat so I just popped it on top of this dresser um, the only thing I kind of want to do here is put something on this edge of the vanity I'm obviously going to move this a bit further away so she can't reach <laughs> when I'm changing her. I don't want her getting into those things. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to put something on there because obviously this is gloss, so that's not ideal. Um, maybe like a, a towel or or one of those foamy things, you know, for baby proofing. I'm gonna have um, a look for that just to kind of make sure um, this area is protected. Um, but this is where I plan on changing her nappies, obviously when we're upstairs. And then in her drawers, I've just got extra nappies. I've got hats, socks. Um, muslin cloths. I've got a few random things in the back there as well. I've just got baby grows. Um, those are trousers. Um, these are just some jumpers. And then down here I've got some sleep suits which that's what I used for the most part with my son when he was first born just because it's so much easier <laughs> to put them in that. Um, and some of them are missing because I put them in our hospital bag, a few of them. Um, and then I've got some extra clothes here and then these are just the sleeping bags and, and the swaddles and extra crib sheets and just kind of things like that. And then I've got this little white um, trolley which is really handy for here because I didn't have a lot of space to put things like a lot of baby things um, and a lot of things for me for like nursing and postpartum and everything like that. So um, I thought this would be really handy especially for those you know beginning days. So I've just been moving things around since I set it up. Um, and it probably will change anyway in time but I've just got nappies up here I've got a body lotion um, I've got a snot sucker I've got some uh, baby dummies um, wipes little muslin cloths these are just the tiny um, square ones for kind of washing them I've got a nappy rash cream just in case we need it so those are for the most part kind of baby things that I'm gonna need to change her nappy then down here I've got kind of breastfeeding things so I've got breast pads because you will probably need those in the beginning days. Then I've got um, some fenugreek capsules to help with um, my milk supply because I had issues with my milk supply with my son. So I'm kind of trying to be on top of this um, and start taking capsules maybe right away. Um, so I've got these and I've also got some uh, mama tea like for breastfeeding um, for lactation. So I've got the tea downstairs just because I'm probably gonna just use it downstairs and then I've got my breast pump and then in the back I've just got some extra maternity pads and the same with down here it's just kind of the, these are basically adult nappies and disposable underwear and just kind of things like that that I'm going to need for postpartum um you know in those beginning days and that is pretty much what I have set up in here stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here Okay, and then in the living room, I've kind of set up here in here my nappy caddy. So this is what it looks like. I got it on Amazon. I will try to link as many things as I can down below, but it's just really easy to grab if I want to take it out. And I've just stocked up with nappies. I've got a changing mat down here in the back. This is just a waterproof one and it's um, it's one of those travel ones, but it's going to be really handy for downstairs. Um, then we've got two muslin cloths, got wipes got a baby lotion. I'm gonna pop another nappy cream 
um, in here. I have a little travel one that I've put in my hospital bag. So that's gonna go in here once we arrive back from the hospital. Um, and then I've got two changes of clothes um, just so that I don't have to run the upstairs every time we need a change of clothes. And then in here I've got an extra blankie um, for downstairs and then this is a uh, baby wrap so it's just really handy to carry uh, the baby so I'm gonna keep it here because I'll probably use it mostly downstairs so um, yeah that's what I have set up in here yeah so that's pretty much what I have um, kind of set up for baby and the little bedside nursery that we've set up um, and yeah I'm just getting so excited to meet her now yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some ideas if you are pregnant yourself and yeah I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video Bye guys!